doing pretty good. Damon, how did you evaluate the overall defensive performance on Saturday? You know, talk, talked to a couple of your teammates after the game, and they said, look, we got things we can improve on, but you know, we only gave up three points. Is that right. how you feel about it as well? Um, you know, I feel like we played well. I feel like we played slow in the first half, uh, missed a lot of tackles. We got to get way better in that field. Um, but overall, I feel like we played pretty good as a defense. What's the biggest difference for you through the first two games of the season? Uh, the biggest difference for me is just catching up with the speed of the game. You know, last year I didn't really play a lot. So now that I'm kind of in the rotation, I would say just catching up with the speed, make sure I get all the calls in and, you know, just doing my job right. He played a lot of cornerback in high school, but obviously you know, you're playing a lot more safety here at Oklahoma. You yeah. feel like, uh, how has that transition been for you? You feel pretty settled into it by now? Yeah, I, I feel pretty good about it. Um, you know, I played a lot of safety in high school as well, like my senior year. Um, so it was kind of like an easy transition for me. Um, but with Coach Venables, he's made it a lot smoother than I thought it would be. What do you say about Brandon Hall? Oh, he's a great coach. I love Brandon. Well, not Brandon. I love Coach Hall. Um, he's a guy that's going to joke around with you, but when it's time to be serious, he means business. Um, he's going to make sure that you know you know what you got to do. He's going to make sure you do it well, and he's just a great coach. How cool overall. was it to see Justin Harrington snagging an interception on Saturday after everything he's been through? That was amazing. Uh, a lot of people don't know. One of my um, high school coaches actually know Justin because uh, his family members go to my high school. So uh, that was very cool. That was very exciting for me because Justin has become one of my close like brothers on this team. He took me in open arms when I first got here. And even when he left last year, he still was calling my phone, making sure I was good every day. So when he did that, I was just excited. Like I had made a pick. It was great. What's it been like to have Calvin here with you? Oh, Calvin, I've grown up with him. You know, I knew him since I was about nine years old. So like coming here with him was probably one of the greatest decisions I ever made. You know, just having somebody I can lean on and talk to whenever I need to, cry on his shoulder if I need to, you know, just keep the brother relationship going. It's been amazing. How much did you guys lean on each other when the coaching chaos was happening? A lot. Like, we didn't know what we were going to do, whether we were going to leave or stay. We didn't know what to do. We just talked to each other, you know, and we came to the conclusion we was going to stick it out and just work, go harder because, like I said, well, like people always say, Grass isn't always green on the other side. So we stayed here, we fought it out, we're grinding, still grinding every single day and it's paying off.